Today, we're building fast race cars so that we can drive Mikey and JJ's family away from this zombie army. Can we escape before we die? Louis, we don't have enough time. The sun is going down. We have to build our cars so we can drive away from the zombie army. All right, Pip, but the zombies won't be here until it turns dark, so we have about 20 minutes, it looks like. Only 20 minutes? We have to hurry! All right, Pip. How about you get started with your car? Show me what you're gonna do first. Louie, I have the best idea. I'm gonna make my car out of dirt, and the wheels are gonna be out of cobblestone. Oh, no. Pip, how could you do this? Oh, guys, Pip is building that car out of cobblestone and dirt. And you know, Pip, these builds have to be made secure as well, right? Oh, yeah. Don't worry, Louie. My bases are always secure. Okay, well, we'll see about that once you're finished. Anyways, I'm going to go to the start of this racetrack right here and get started on my build. Hmm, but what block should I use? I think I'm going to make a massive rainbow car. So I'm going to get all of the colors of the rainbow. That is yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, and then violet. But I do need a color to start building the wheels out of. So I'm going to build them out of really strong reinforced iron. So first of all, I'm going to start building the wheels. And I need to make sure they're really, really huge. And also round too. So I'm going to build them out of this shape here. As you can see, it's looking really strong because of the iron blocks. And also really round because of the way I'm building it. Let's see here. This, this wheel can't be an oval. It has to be a perfect circle. So I'm going to count how many blocks are here. And it looks like there's five. So I'm going to put five blocks on the side here and five blocks on the side here. Then I'm going to build them up diagonally and then five blocks across again and then two more in the corner. And there we go. A perfect circle for our wheel. Louie, you should know you can't build a perfect circle in Minecraft. What are you doing? Uh, well, Pip, you are right about that. But wheels don't have to be a perfect circle to work right. Louie, if the tire's not round, the car won't be able to drive. What are you doing? Well, you're making a good point there, Pip. But the wheels don't have to be perfectly round. As you can see, I'm just building them in a rough circle shape. You could technically drive a car on oval-shaped wheels. It would just be a very bumpy ride. You know, Louie, look at my wheel. This is how you make a wheel in Minecraft. Um, Pip, I'm looking at your wheels right now, and, uh, and it's kind of looking like an egg. Um, did you just hatch from this yesterday? Louie, what are you talking about? This is my wheel. Oh, well, I think you must have hatched yesterday because I don't know where you learned that this is a wheel. I'm just gonna keep working on mine. Oh my gosh, guys. Pip's base is going to be so insecure. Pip, don't tell me I'm going to have to protect Mikey's family again. This always happens. Louis, it's never going to happen again. All right. Well, we'll see about that. But I'm going to be building a massive car because once I put JJ's family inside, they're gonna be so happy with how luxurious it is. And Mikey's family is going to feel the opposite. All right, so now I'm lining up these wheels so that they can all work at the same time. I just need to make sure that these are all aligned perfectly or else the car won't drive in a straight line. As you guys know, if you have wobbly wheels on a car, you'll have to compensate for its movement by turning it the opposite way or else it'll just drive into a wall. But now that I've got these wheels in place, I can get started on the inside to make it look more three-dimensional. I'm going to be using this black concrete. It's gonna look really cool on the inside, just like that. I just have to spend a little bit of time building it up, and then I can do it for every single one of my wheels, and I can get started on my rainbow car. So, Pip, how secure is your base right now? I know you're just starting on the wheels, but have you started on anything else? Well, Louie, it's not very secure right now, but it's more secure than yours. Um, uh, well, that's just because I built the wheels, but my car's gonna be so high off the ground that none of the mobs are going to be able to get inside. Yours seems very close to the ground. I could probably just jump inside. Oh, Louie, you're silly. You know zombies can't jump, right? Um, uh, well, zombies might not be able to jump, but what if they're mutant zombies? I'm pretty sure mutant zombies are a little stronger than regular ones. I think Mikey's family will be fine, Louie. 
You need to worry about JJ's family. I'm worried about JJ's family. Pip, why are you worried about JJ's family? You don't even have to protect them. At the end of the day, I'm going to have to come over to your side and probably take Mikey's family's safety into my own hands, judging by how insecure your base looks. Louis, just you wait. Because at the end of this, you'll realize it's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. Oh, Pip, you always say that. But your base always ends up getting overrun by zombies and mobs and all this crazy stuff. Oh, come on, Louis. Today is the day I'm going to have to rescue JJ's family. Oh, well, we'll see about that once I make my base super secure. These iron wheels are coming along really well, guys. And I've also started on the foundations for the body of my car. All I have to do is just keep building just like this. I've got a few ideas for what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the engine of this car a rainbow engine. And it's going to be huge. It's going to fart out rainbows and go really, really fast. I'm going to be able to go all the way down that racetrack and escape the zombies when they attack. I would say the opposite for Pip, though. Pip hasn't even built more than one wheel. Louis, you know a car doesn't need four wheels, right? A car can have two wheels and work just fine. Pip, I think what you're explaining right there is a motorcycle, not a car. Cars have four wheels or three wheels. Motorcycles have two. Oh, wait, we're supposed to be making cars? Of course we are, Pip. What have you been building this whole time? Oh, and on a new duck motorcycle. My Gosh, guys, Mikey's family is in really bad hands. Maybe I should intervene, but I need to build my base first. Let's just keep working on it. As you guys know, there's certain cars that come really close to the ground, just like this. This is where I'm going to be building my engine. And it's going to go just here, I would say. I'm going to be mapping out the areas in where everything is going to go. So on the inside of here, in this first section, I'm going to be adding where the engine is. In this middle section, this is where everybody's going to be sitting. This is where all of the items can be stored in the trunk. This is coming along really nicely, guys. This car is looking amazing. Now that I've got the foundations built, I can start working on the really cool rainbow color. So I'm going to go ahead and make this car look awesome. I'm going to add a little grill to the front of it, like a real car. I'm going to just go around it like this, and I'm going to build it like this. And as you can see, this looks like the front of a car where the air goes in to cool the engine. I'm going to fill it up with some really cool rainbow colors and this way it's going to look awesome. So let's just do some rainbows like this and then do another rainbow inside. Here we go. Pip, how long do we have left? I think we're running out of time. The sun, it seems to be getting slightly darker out here. I don't remember the sun going down this fast. Oh no, guys. Pip is right. The sun is going down at an alarming speed. We've got to keep securing our bases before those zombies come, Pip. Keep going. Guys, this is terrible. Usually the zombies take a lot longer to arrive, but it seems like we're gonna have to go really fast this time. I'm just building up the shape of the front of my car. This is where the bumper is, so that if I crash into anything, I'll be safe. And so will JJ's family. Um, Pip, does your car even have any safety precautions, like a bumper or suspensions or anything like that? I don't need safety designs, Louis. I'm going cheap on this design. See, look, I have pumpkins, dirt, iron ore, sand. Oh, no. Pip, are you building your car out of extremely cheap materials? You know you can not put a price on safety, right? Safety, Louie, come on. Mikey's family is safe with me. You're only adding a lot of safety because JJ's family is in trouble. Well, I guess you are a bird. Well, I guess you are some kind of chicken or bird or something, so I guess you could just fly away from a scene of an accident. Well, as we are humans, we can't get away from that as easily. And that's why ducks like me, Louie, are pro, and you're a noob. Oh, Pip, you'll regret saying that once you see my final build. Just wait until the end, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to absolutely embarrass Pip. As you can see, I went ahead and added some headlights to this car. It's looking awesome. Now all I'm going to do is add some little sections in here where some more air 
can get to the engine. This way, my car will never break down. Unlike Pip's unreliable machine over there, it's going to probably crash the second they try to drive it. As you can see, guys, the front of this car is coming along really well. Now it's just time to finish off the shape of the bumper. So I'll build across just like this and build up into the air. I need to make sure that the engine can fit where these wheels are. There we go. Now I'll just build it across like this. And this is the hood of the car where the engine will hide underneath. I'm just going to build its shape out like this and it needs to look really, really good. It has to be shaped just in case an accident happens. And you know what? I think I'm going to change the walls of this car to be rainbow colored. I'm going to go like this and just fill in these gaps on the inside to make it look 3D. As you can see, this is coming along really well. The shape of my car is building up slowly. And you know what? I'm going to build this car bumper out of rainbow colors. So I'm going to build it all the way across like this, all the way to this area here. This is where the window will start on the car. This is where the driver will be able to look out of the dashboard and see where they're going. These iron blocks are looking super secure. I knew I was building this car out of the right materials. But Pip, on the other hand, it seems like Pip has only just started on that third wheel. Pip, you've got to hurry up. This sun is going to go down, and those mobs are going to take you by surprise. And you haven't even built any traps yet. We you can't rush perfection. Oh, I guess you're right, but it's looking so trash so far. Uh, are you sure it's going to look good when you finish? Trust me, Louie. Mikey's family will love my car. Oh, I really hope so. Guys, this is really bad. I've got to keep building to make sure that this base is enough for Mikey and JJ's family because I don't think I really have a lot of trust in Pip's base. You know, Louie, if you don't trust me... I don't trust you, so matter of fact, you're banned from my base, Louie. You're never allowed in. What? Uh, well, I didn't like it anyways. <laughs> I don't need to go inside there. Guys, this is really bad. What if the mobs get inside my base? I've just got to make it more secure so I never have to go to Pips. As you can see, I'm now building this rainbow-colored dashboard. And this is made out of concrete. As you guys know, concrete is an extremely strong and durable material. So there's no way in the world anything's getting inside. Even creepers. I'm just going to finish off adding these colors in. And then I can start adding my passenger seat. This car is coming along really well. As you can see, I have my bumper at the front, my window, and this passenger area that's still yet to be done. Don't worry, JJ's family. We'll have you in here in no time. And boom, this is getting really close to being completed now. I've almost completed my rainbow bumper and my rainbow dashboard. Here we go. Come on. Come on. And there we go. That is looking awesome. I'm pretty sure the mobs won't even want to come inside of here. They'll just want to go over there instead. Those zombies really like a nice fried egg. Whereas they don't like rainbows too much because they don't come out during the sun. Wait, did you just say zombies like eating eggs? Of course I did, Pip. Did you know they also eat duck eggs too? And they eat fried chicken? What? Oh my gosh. I'm working on my next security. I'm making pumpkin golems. Pumpkin golems? Yep. I'm gonna need to see this in a second, Pip. Let me just build up the walls of my base. Well, basically, I'm trying to scare away the zombies with a bunch of pumpkins, because pumpkins are scary, and I get scared of pumpkins myself, so maybe the zombies would get scared too. I do have to admit, during Halloween, these pumpkins can get really frightening, but... I'm pretty sure zombies are already... I don't think they're going to be scared of pumpkins. Whatever I'm scared of, they must be too, right? Whatever I'm scared of, the zombies should be scared of too, right? Um, well, that depends on what you're scared of, Pip. How about you tell me your deepest, darkest fears? A as a duck... I'm really scared of water. What? That's completely ridiculous. I mean, I don't like showering at all, but at least I'm not scared of water, Pip. Yeah, Louis, I haven't showered in years. Oh, well, that's, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's... Uh, okay, bye, Pip. Where are you going? I, I want to give you a hug. No, don't give me a hug. You're sticky. Oh! As you can see, guys, this car is really coming along. This rainbow bumper has been made. The rainbow sides, this window, and uh, now I should start working on where my passenger sits. Or maybe I should start working on the engine in here. 
this card needs to run on hopes and dreams and also a little bit of rainbows. So I'm going to connect up the wheels at the front like this. This is called the axle. It makes sure that the wheels stay in alignment and don't fall apart. Now I'm going to take this all the way to the back wheels. This is also called a rear axle too. Basically in all race cars, they have these things called axles. They connect to the wheels and make sure that the car doesn't lose stability while it's driving. This is going to be really good for us because that means my car is never going to lose stability while it's on the road, meaning I won't crash, and JJ's family will be extremely safe. Right, JJ? I'm not adding axolotls to my base, Louis. What are you talking about? Axolotls? I wasn't talking about axolotls. I was talking about axles. You know, the thing that keeps your wheels in place? Those, Louis, those are probably useless anyways. Well, Pip, if you want to get into a really serious car crash, I would recommend totally not using axles at all. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it anyways, Louis. Oh, guys, this is really bad. Pip is going to get into the craziest car accident of all time. I really need to save Mikey's family from them. Also, Louis, do I even need those, what are they called? Seat belts? Seat belts? You haven't got seat belts in your car? I didn't think I needed them, because, like, what are they for anyways? Like, a, just a belt? Pip, seat belts make sure that you don't fall out of the car through the front window when you get into a serious car crash. Oh, so that's what that's for. Please don't tell me I just taught you how to use seat belts. I was just joking. I totally know what seat belts are. Oh, um, I highly doubt that, guys. But anyways, I have the hub of the outside of my rainbow engine ready. Now, I just need to go ahead and get some large cog wheels like this. And this will run my car. As you can see, this is just like the gearing inside of a real car. As you know, cars run on a ton of gears like this. This is what makes them run. This is also how you shift gears in your car. The gears make sure that the rear axles don't move too fast and make the wheels spin too fast, meaning they all spin at the exact same speed. But now that the inside of my engine is there, I'm going to add a motor on the inside like this. And this will make my engine spin to life. As you can see, now my car is warming up and it's ready to start any second now. But wait a second, guys. I just forgot something. I also need to cool my engine too. So let me just get some copper pipes like this. This is called the intake and the outtake. I'm also going to go ahead and get some of these fluid tanks to make sure that my car is always sufficiently cooled. This means my engine will run extremely efficiently and my car will be super fast. All I have to do now is just fill each of these containers with water like this. Does your car have cooling by any chance? I really doubt it. I was planning on add adding a few water buckets into my car. Water buckets? I hope you're not gonna pour it all over your car. Some cars aunt waterproof you know yeah i was just gonna pour the water buckets on my car in case like a fire happens or something oh no pip you know you shouldn't pour water on a gas fire right worst that could happen it'll explode that doesn't really happen that's only in the movies <laughs> guys pip is really starting to get kind of crazy i'm kind of worried for mikey's family if that car explodes it'll be over for mikey's family i don't think they'll ever recover but anyways, there we go. We now have our rainbow engine in place with all of our cooling. It's now time to start on the inside of my base. So I'm going to start building a room like this. I'm going to build the foundation of my car out just like this. And this is where we're going to stand. And there we go. As you can see, I've now completed the floor of my car. This is where I can put my accelerator, my brake, and my clutch. If you guys don't know what a clutch is, they're not in automatic cars. It only works with cars that have gears. All right, so now what I need is what a regular car has. So I'm going to build up these walls out of rainbow materials because it's going to look so cool. Let me just get some pink and magenta and start building up these walls. So I'm going to make a massive room for the driver's seat. This is where the driver of the car will sit. I'll be building up the walls like this, like a little rainbow. There we go. As you can see, I've split my base into a few different sections. And in this room is where the steering wheel is going to be. I think I'm going to be too small to operate this car. But what I can do is make a nice little balcony. So I'm going to get some smooth stone like this. And I'm going to build a nice little platform all the way up here. This way, I can see the road ahead of me when I'm driving. Then, I'm going to go ahead and take this and also place a copper valve here. 
This way, it looks like I'm steering the car. If I stand on this side, I can turn it left. And if I stand on this side, I can turn it to the right. I also need some buttons and controls to move the car. So what I'm going to do is put a lever here, a lever here, and a button in the middle to start the car. Then, I'm going to put two pressure plates like this. This one's for the accelerator, and this one is the brake. So in case I'm going too fast, I can always slow down safely. But now, to get to my central control area, I'm going to have some ladders going all the way up into it. I'm going to use these really cool looking bunk ladders. As you can see, they look really industrial and cool. So now, I can stand here and look at the open road. Now what I'm going to do is something really cool. I'm going to get some rainbow colored glass like this. And I'm also going to make the windows out of rainbows too. This way, this car is going to look awesome. Pip is going to have their mind blown once they see it. I'm just going to build the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, and violet. There's no way the zombies get into this thing. I've been building quite a lot. Maybe I should ask Pip what they're up to. Um, Pip, what are you currently building? Oh, Louis, I'm just adding my windows right now. I'm adding the biggest windows ever so I can look out and see where the zombies are. Oh, wait, that's actually pretty convenient. I'm building my windows right now, too. What windows are you building? Giant windows! Did you make your walls out of diorite and... Why is it surrounded with dirt? The windows will just fall off. That's not gonna happen. Why not exactly, Pip? Hey, I mean, the glass is hanging on just fine right now. I guess so. I mean, I guess when it rains, the dirt will act as glue, but I don't know about that. I think my windows are way better than yours. Oh, Lou, your windows are ugly. Ugly? What? Uh, it's it's really cool. It's rainbow colored and the whole build is made of rainbows. There's nothing that can top it, Pip. Not even your base could do that. So now that I've done all of the walls for my driver's seat area, I think it's time for me to start on the inside of my base. I'm going to go ahead and build the other rooms as we go backwards. So in here, what do we need? I know we definitely need a massive control center. So I'm going to go ahead and build the GPS for the car. Let's just go across like this. And I'll also get some item frames. And then there's these things. And then there's these things called holograms. Just like this. As you can see, when I put them down inside of item frames, it looks like a really cool GPS system. I'm going to do this just across like this. And perfect. Now what else do they have in cars? I know I'm definitely going to need a rear view mirror so I can see everything going on behind me. So I'm going to get some glass. And I'm also going to build a massive rear view mirror like this. I'll go ahead and build it out of glass like that. And boom. Uh, it's looking a little off though. Let me just replace this. And there we go. There's my inside mirror. And that just made me think. I need an outside mirror on my car as well. Or else I'll never be able to see the outside world. Let's just build this out of iron blocks coming out like this. I'm going to build this square shape like this. I'm also going to make it round out a little bit. Then I'll fill it full of glass, just like that. There is my side mirror, but I just had a realization. How am I going to see outside of my car from the side if there's just a wall in the place? So I'm going to go ahead and take this section here and use this command to set it to glass. Oh, look, there's Pip. Oh, Pip, I'm building my car and it's looking way better than yours. Oh, Louis, don't mind me. I was just checking out your car for like, um, uh, in inspiration. Inspiration, did you just say? Wait a second, let me see what you're doing right now. Guys, this is super weird. Why was Pip looking at my base in the first place? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. Let's just keep building these rooms through this car. I'm going to separate these doors off like this with these iron blocks. This will make it super strong. And inside of here, let's add the amenities that JJ's family is going to need. So over here, I'm going to build a massive room like this. And I'll separate it with these iron blocks like this. Now, I'll go ahead and use that same command that I used before to make a big window right there. And this is going to be the pool room inside of a car. This means that JJ's family are going to be able to relax on really long road trips. So let me just quickly empty out this space in the middle here and make sure we don't cut into the rear axle. Let's just fill it in like this. And this pool is going to be how they can relax and have a really nice time, especially when those mobs are attacking. 
Now that I've built the outline of my pool, I can get a water bucket from the creative menu and just fill it all in like that. Now we have a beautiful pool inside of our car. I'm going to go ahead and cap it off with some nice looking quartz blocks, just like this. This will make it look extremely fancy. I don't think JJ's family is ever going to want to leave. And there we go. Now I've added this roof on, it looks super cool. But one thing that I forgot is some lighting. Of course, you're going to need to be able to see underneath the pool and when it goes dark. It's really dangerous to be inside of a car, especially when you have no lights. So there we go. Now the pool room has all of these glowstone. I'm also going to do something really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get a deck chair just like this. And I also have these oak decks that go inside of the water like this. I'm going to fill it up like that, just so that there's enough space inside the pool for swimming, but also enough space on the side of the pool for chillaxing in the sun. That's looking awesome. And now I think I'll add some tables next to each one. And now I think I'll add some tables next to each one, just like that. And I'll go ahead and give them some bottles to drink from and a nice drink of water. This is such a luxury pool. JJ is going to be so excited. But now it's time to build the next room and I'll build it on this side. Let's just build this room around like this in the exact same orientation as the last one. There we go. Now we have this really cool second room here. And I think this room will be where we have a restaurant. And I think this room is where we're going to have a restaurant area. This is where we'll be able to get some food and have a nice relaxing sit down and drink whenever we get hungry. Let me just build out the shape of this restaurant area and add some really nice little decorations just like this. And boom, there we go. That is the counter. I'm going to add a really cool area behind just like this. And this table is where they're going to make all of the meals. But what food do I want them to serve? I'll get an item frame like this ready to go. And let's find some food items that we like. I definitely want to be serving some rabbit. That's really luxury food. And maybe some steak. I am a fan of kiwis, but I don't think JJ's family would like that. I think they would probably like sweet berries. They're really sweet and nice. And they definitely like sausages, 100%. I love sausages. I'm also going to get some salmon because that's red, some bread, and maybe a cake too, which I'll put just on the side. But now let's hang all of our food up on the wall, ready to be ordered whenever they need it. But now I need a way to cook the food. So I'm going to get some furnaces like this. I'll put some furnaces on the side. This is where the food will be cooked. And I'll add some little brewing stands on the top to be used as coffee machines. You guys know me. I love my hot chocolate. Do you like hot chocolate too? Comment down below. Wait, Louis, why do you like hot chocolate? I hate hot chocolate. I love cold chocolate. What? What do you mean by that? Do, do you mean you like a chocolate bar? That kind of cold. No, Louis, I drink cold chocolate, not hot chocolate. Oh, wait a second, Pip. You're saying you drink cold, hot chocolate? That's what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew, that's disgusting, guys. Pip is really losing their marbles. They like such terrible food. Oh, Louis, you know the viewers would agree with me. Hot chocolate is way better when it's cold. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know what, guys? We have to prove Pip wrong. How about this? If you think hot chocolate is better hot, subscribe to me. But if you think hot chocolate is better cold, like the video. Ew. But anyways, guys, after that, I need to add some chairs to my restaurant and I'm gonna add some red chairs for me and JJ's family And just in case Pip needs my help I'll have a restaurant area over here for Pip and Mikey's family Perfect, that's the inside of my driver's room done But now I have to start working on some traps to stop the zombies from getting inside that area First, though, I'm going to build this wall. Now, just a few more iron blocks, and there we go. Our wall is complete, but my driver won't be able to see out of the back. Maybe I should just do this, and then set it to glass for safety. This way, if I ever need to see anything coming behind, I can turn around and see just out of the back window. But it's time to start on my traps. So what am I going to do in this room? Let me think. I think I want the entrance to my base to be around the back here. So maybe I'll make it go through the exhaust. Or maybe I'll make it come through the car door. 
That's actually a really good idea. I'm going to go down the side of my car like this and build a safety ladder. This means that if anyone falls off and the car is driving, they can jump onto it and be saved. So most likely Pip. But then they'll be able to enter through this area right here and into my rainbow car. All I have to do is just make some traps to stop the monsters from getting inside. So I'm going to make it like a labyrinth inside. I'm going to go ahead and just make it go all the way around here and then all the way back. And it's going to get thinner and thinner as they go through. This is also the way to get to the driver's seat. So it's got to be really secure. There's no way any zombies could possibly get in here because if they do, it'll be over for me. I'm going to go ahead and use that command I used earlier just to make something cool. As you can see, if I use slash slash set and glass, I can make a nice glass platform up here. And I think I'm going to make this car over here. And I think I'm going to put some ladders at the end of this corridor here. So that if any zombies are coming through, I can see where they are in my traps. But that also gives me a really good idea. I'm going to use these things called redstone links. And basically how they work is if I need a trap to go off, I can make it like a death run. So right here, if I add a lever on top and a redstone link on the side that's connected to the same frequency, I should be able to connect them all to some dispensers in the ground. And let's say these dispensers will have fire charges in them. Now, all I have to do is just rig this hallway to be full of these dispensers. Just because I'll be up there and nothing will be inside, I'm going to go all the way over here and put some dispensers at the end too. And now all I have to do is set up some redstone links. I've got to set them to the connecting mode and also fill them with ladders like the last ones. Now, if I go over here and flick this lever, it should activate my fire charges remotely through redstone. Now all I have to do is link up all of these dispensers here so they'll fire at the same time. Let's do it. And here we go. I'm just now setting them all to be receiving. And now, if I go ahead and go to the top here and flick this lever, all of them should activate. This means that any mobs inside of this hallway will die instantly. It's a genius plan. So the mobs are going to come through this area, and even if they survive, they move into my next trap. And this one, I think is going to be an arrow run. So I'm going to put some dispensers with some arrows in the walls. I'm going to need to take the fire charges out of these dispensers and fill them with arrows instead. Now let's go ahead and just sprinkle them throughout this room all over the walls. Like that. And then I'll put some here too. Some more and some more. Like this. Now all of these dispensers are filled with arrows and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing with the redstone links. I'm going to take one of the arrows from this to be used as a frequency device. And now all I have to do is just fill them all up the same. Now all I have to do is fill them all up the same like this. Set them all to a receiving mode. Now... Now, when I'm ready, I can put my next button right here. I'll add my lever on top, and I'll add my redstone link. So now when I press this lever, it should shoot a few of those arrow traps. Look, it's perfect! Now all I have to do is just finish off adding all of these dispensers like this, and setting them to receiving mode, and we should be good to go. Now when I press this lever, all of them should activate, and it goes off in this zigzag pattern like this. It's going to be absolutely unstoppable. Hey, Louie, check out my entrance. I have security guards and I have a cool water entrance. Security guards? Wait, this is actually probably one of the best things Pip has ever done. What kind of security guards? Like iron golems or snow golems or what, Oh, Louie, I hired the people that I trust the most. My family! Oh, no. No, Pip, please don't tell me you just hired ducks to protect our base. Just hire any ducks. I hired the best ducks in the world. Oh, no. <sighs> Who are these ducks? Are they like Are they like a musical band or something? Uh, do they work together really well? Or This one's my first cousin, Samantha. And then this is my second cousin, Tyler. Oh, guys, Pip just kidnapped their cousins and is making them work as a security guard. Pip... 
I really don't know about this. You know what? I don't want to be involved. I'll just let you keep working on your base. Well, Louis, I need to secure mine. You didn't even check out my water entrance. I don't need to see it. I'll take a look in a moment. But it kind of does look like a really bad exhaust pipe. All right, guys. So now I just need one more trap to keep the zombies at bay. And I think there's nothing better than big spikes. I'll just have it so that we can jump over them. And the zombies can't. It's foolproof. This means I can get inside of my base. Pip probably will be able to. And the zombies won't. And then once we get past here, I can go all the way up to the top. See my trap room. And I'll build my armory in here. I just need to stop working on the walls. This might take a moment, guys. The sun's almost down and I haven't even done any of my traps yet. My inside's not even finished. Oh, you're right, Pip. You know, I thought it was your catchphrase that was the inside that matters more. But it seems like I've worked on way more traps than you have. This is just a one-time thing, Louis. I, I, I wasn't ready. Oh, that's what they all say, Pip. You're gonna lose. You're gonna no, be I'm the new. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Of course you are, Pip. There's no escaping being the noob. You know, it's not bad to be a noob. Yes, it is. This is why you should be the noob, man, not me. Well, Pip, one day when you have a better build than me, I guess we'll be able to call you the pro. But until that day, you're just a noob in my eyes. And today will be the day that changes, Louis. Oh, I don't know about that. Guys, do you believe Pip at all? Comment down below. All right. I just need to finish up on my roof now, and then I can start on my armory room in the back over there. I'm just finishing off adding the roof all in here like this. This is so cool looking. Look at this rainbow car. My car runs on the power of hopes and dreams. That's why it's a rainbow car. If it was a regular car, it would just run on diesel or petrol. It's kind of like how unicorns run on rainbows as well. But now, guys, I'm inside of the back of my car. And I need to go ahead and add a massive armory. So I'm going to go and get some uh, more, no, armor stands like this. I'm going to get some chests too. I'm also going to get some netherite gear. This is the best gear in the entire game. And there's nothing that can beat it. And now all I have to do is just fill up a ton of armor stands like this with a ton of netherite armor. This way, if any of the mobs get inside, there'll be enough armor for everyone everyone, including JJ's family and also Mikey's family if needed. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is put a ton of chests down like this, a ton of netherite swords inside just so I can fight off the mobs. I'm going to put a bow inside with a ton of arrows just like this. And now all I have to do is just make sure I have golden apples so that I can survive the night. Oh no, guys, but it's getting really bad. It's getting dark outside and the sun seems to be setting. Pip, we don't have long. We need to keep working on securing our bases. Don't worry, Louie. I just added an aquarium with little drowns. I don't know what drowns are, but they look kind of cute. Wait, did you just say drowns? Let me come over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I really hope Mikey's family is safe. If you guys don't know what drowns are, they're basically zombies, but they live underwater. They should be fine. I put them right next to Mikey's family's room so that they can protect them. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Guys, we need to get in there and tell Pip not to do that. Pip, what are you doing? Look. Don't you know that those drowns are zombies in disguise? Finally, look, they're in the little aquarium. They can't even get out. Okay, Pip, but imagine this. The aquarium glass breaks, the drowns escape, and let me just get a little example of what would happen. Imagine this little egg here is Mikey's family, okay? The zombies get out, this is what would happen. The zombies, they attack, they attack, Mikey's family, imagine that's Mikey's family, dead. And now they're zombies, just like the drowns. Well, Mikey's family is turtles, so I think they can swim away. Well... It depends. That aquarium is pretty small, and there's a lot of drowns in there. I don't think they could swim even if they wanted to, Pip. Well, Lily, it's not my fault. An innocent villager just died. You just killed an innocent villager for no reason, Louis. He could have been a um, security guard. Um, uh, no. No, I didn't. Uh, bye, Pip. Bye. I'm, I'm leaving now. I I'm going home. I'm going home. You're a murderer! <laughs> no, I'm not! But now, guys, I'm going to make this base decorated like rainbows. 
I'm going to do these commands like this, and I'm going to make the top of this base into rainbow colors. I'll just set it like this, and boom! Now, we have a ton of rainbows on the top. Doesn't it look cool? It kind of looks like a really big SUV. But now, guys, I have one last thing to build, and that is the back end of my car. I need to build a really big storage room to hold everything inside, just like a real trunk of a real car. So let's build the outline of it just like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and just keep working on the outline like this. Did you do the same thing, Pip? Did you work on an outline for your car? Of course, Louie, and I may have even gotten some inspiration from you as well. Inspiration? What do you mean by inspiration, Pip? Oh, uh, just don't look at the front of my car, Louie. Wait a second, this looks really familiar! The three little vents in the front? The pumpkins? I didn't build that. And the lights. Let me take a look at the front of my car. Something seems wrong. What? Pip, it's the exact same! It's not the exact same because I'm not really good at copying people's builds, so I tried to make it the best oh, I could. Oh, you're such a copier! It'll be fine. Oh, it will not be fine. The only reason your base would even do well is if you completely copied mine. That's why people call me a pro and you a noob, you know. Oh, Louis, just wait for the day where you are the one copying me. I really doubt that, Pip. You feed your people like seeds and stuff. I would never eat a seed, even if I was forced to. Just be like, but they're really good. But they're really good, and they're really healthy for you. Uh, maybe to ducks like you, but humans like me, we don't eat seeds, right guys? Anyways, I just made the front of my car much cooler looking. It kind of looks like a face. There's the eyes, there's the nose, there's the mouth. Wait, <laughs> that could actually be quite funny if I make it look like that. Let me just add some eyes. And there we go! Now my car can watch the undead as they try to attack! Those side mirrors also look like ears! It kind of looks like a monkey! Oh, Louie, you look like a monkey as well. What? Are you saying I'm ugly or cute? I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying you're ugly! What? Pip, how could you say that? Oh, guys, maybe Pip's right. I mean, I haven't washed... I didn't wash my face this morning. But anyways, guys, we need to keep working on the trunk of this car before the zombies attack. We've only got what seems like a few more minutes, Pip. Get building! Done! Now what I'm going to do, guys, is fill in these areas around the side with these special commands. I'm going to do this to replace air to the clipboard. So that's whatever I copied. Meaning if I do a pattern like this, right? If I do a pattern like this, uh, say a rainbow colors like uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and pink, and I went across and did this, say red, orange, yellow, green, blue and pink and then i copy it with this command and then i use these blocks right here and replace air with the clipboard it'll do this and fill in all of the air with this rainbow pattern meaning that i can build my walls really quickly this is looking like an awesome car let me just do this on the other side too just so that I can have this car done quickly before the mobs. And there we go, guys. Now, I went ahead and just finished off this little wall here. So now I have the trunk of my car ready to go. Now I think I'm going to connect it to this storage room in the back where all of my items will be. I'm going to make it really secretive by covering the entire top with iron blocks like this. Now, once I need to get into my storage room, I can just walk through this little entrance here. I need a lot of storage, so I'm going to put a ton of stuff down here. Just like this, I've built my storage floor, and I'm going to build it down like this and put a ladder in. You guys are going to love what I'm about to build. I'm going to go ahead and get this chest right here, and I'm going to build this little area across like this. Now, I can fit all of my chests in sideways like this, meaning that I can take up one block with a double chest's worth of storage. So when I look at it from the front, it'll just be one block, but I'll have loads of space inside. Now, I just need to do the same thing all the way down here. So, Pip, how much storage do you have in your base? I have plenty. Oh my gosh, Louis, I have tons of storage. I have nine double chests just in the corner of my car. Phew, well, that's good. That's like the best thing you've done all day, Pip. 
having all that storage is going to really come in handy when those zombies attack. Filling all the chests up with the most important block in Minecraft. Oh, what is that, Pip? Please don't embarrass yourself. Wheat seeds! Wheat seeds! Oh, no, I feel really bad for Mikey's family. They're probably gonna die! Oh, they won't die on my watch, Louie. Just you wait. You're just jealous. Um, I'm not really jealous of your base, Pip. Uh, I wish I could be, though. Anyways, guys, I've just built this entire little section over here. And this is like concrete inside of my car. Just in case things go south and I need to help Pip and get all the way over there, I'm going to place down this right here. This is the Louie Mobile. And it's like a little car inside of a big car. It's Carception! All I'm going to do now is just fill it up with gas. And now it's fueled. I should be able to drive it whenever I need to. Just like this! Let me just turn this thing around and get it back into place. Just like that. So when I need to save Pip eventually, I can, I can drive my car out of here, land on the road, do a really cool skid around the corner, and pull up underneath Pip's base, ready to be saved. The car also has four seats, meaning I can fit Pip, me, and a bit of Mikey's family. We might have to make a return journey, though. But now I think about it, I need some seats for me and JJ's family. So I'm going to get some chairs. And I'll also get some lime ones for Mikey's family because I'm going to need them. Because I'm definitely going to be having them in my base. So I'll put three here. And I'll put three here for JJ too. This way, they can all sit in the back whilst I control the vehicle like a pro. All right, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the middle of these wheels just like this. And if I just add some color around like this... I need some more concrete. Um, let's see here. I'll get some lime. I'll get some magenta. And I can add them all around like this. And now I have a rainbow wheel. Now I'll just do this on all of the wheels. So I'll do this command right here. Slash slash copy. And I'll move all the way over here. And do this command. Slash slash paste. Now, I have one wheel there and one wheel there. And they're both rainbow wheels. This car is looking awesome right now. I cannot wait to fight the zombies with it. Oh no, that took a bit too long. It seems the moon is rising and the sun is going down. We need to get our families prepared inside of our vehicles. Come on, JJ, we have to get inside now. And there we go. Now JJ's entire family is inside my car and ready to drive away from this zombie horde. But what about you, Pip? Is your family in there and safe now? Of course, Louie. Mikey's family is safe and sound in my car. All right, perfect. We have to get prepared for this battle. So get your armor and weapons ready. On it, Pip. Did you just get sent to survival mode? Yeah, I just got sent, Louis. Wait, zombies are coming in from the ceiling. Oh my gosh, I gotta get my armor on. Oh, this is terrible. I can see them all on top of your base. Where are they on mine? I really need to know. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get suited up first. This way, the zombies will have no chance at killing me. I need to get my netherite sword. I need to get my bow and arrows. And I need to get my golden apples ready. All right, Mikey's family's gonna be safe with me. I have the best armor in the game after all. Um, what armor are you using, Pip? Just the, um, just the diamond. I'm using diamond armor. Diamond armor since Wait, netherite doesn't work. Diamond? Diamond armor? This is the first time you've ever used diamond armor, Pip. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> this diamond armor does look a little bit dirty. And it is kind of itchy. Dirty diamond armor and... Just give me a second, Pip. I'm fighting this zombie. I really need your help. I could do with some diamond armor right now. Um, if you could come over and, you know, try and help me kill these zombies with your diamond sword and diamond right, armor. I'm coming to help. I should one-shot the zombies. What? Pip, that's not diamond armor. That's leather armor. Louie, you know I'm colorblind. I can't tell the difference. How do you see shiny diamond armor as brown? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to think about it. Let's go to my base. It's a lot safer there. And we can get you suited up with some better armor. Louie, look, the zombies are on top of my base. How did they get up there? Uh, I don't know. But all I know is that Mikey's family is in danger. If they drop down inside of your base, it's over for you. And did you know, if Mikey's family dies, 
guys, uh, you'll be seen as the noob. Oh, Mikey's family's never gonna die on my watch. Well, we'll see about that when I crown you king noob at the end of this video. Anyways, Pimp, come on! We don't have much time to spare! Get over here! Oh, get out of the Louis, way, behind chicken. you, behind Let's you! Let's go. Oh, okay, Pimp, climb the ladder! The emergency ladder! Come on, come on! Louis, oh, come on, Pip, hurry up! Louie, I'm trying to get inside, but there's so many zombies. Look, there's even babies on. Wait, how does that zombie have my head? Oh my gosh, I don't know, but I gotta get inside. <laughs> Pip, I think the zombie's making fun of you for being a noob. Come on, just hurry! Come on! Climb! Climb! That was really close. There's a massive zombie horde outside. Wait a second, Pip. I think I can see some zombies climbing the ladders. Oh no, the zombies are getting closer. Uh, Louie, go check them out. See if they're poisonous. What? Oh, you pushed me! Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, Pip, you're trying to kill me. I'm stuck down here with all of these zombies. How could you? Get up here. I'm trying my best. Oh no, 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 no. All right, I made my way up the ladders. We need to get you some better armor. At the same time, your base is being swarmed. We need to save Mikey's family. We gotta bring them here. You're right, Louie, but how are we gonna save them? How are we gonna get to my base? There's so many zombies in the way. Well, we have to run on hopes and dreams, just like my car. All right, follow me. We're gonna get you some really good armor, and then we're gonna use the trick I've had up my sleeve this whole time. I, th I thought this was your car. Isn't this your car that we're in right now? Um, yes, obviously, but follow me. I'm gonna show you something. So, first of all, get yourself some netherite armor on. You're really going to need it. How do you have so much netherite armor, Louie? Um, I'm a millionaire. I I'm just rich. That's all. Yeah. Oh, you pay to win, loser. Not pay to win. Pay to survive! All right, put on that armor, Pip. And get yourself a netherite sword while you're at it. You're really gonna need one. But now, it's time to show you the trick up my sleeve. The ace in my deck. It's my car! I, uh, bought it from the convenience store. I totally didn't cheat it in. Uh, all right, let's go! We're gonna go to your base, and we're gonna bring Mikey's family back! There's just so many zombies! I know. We've got to drive away as fast as we can. We can't be spending too much time here! Come on, get inside of your base. We need to tell Mikey's family it's time to go. Get in the car, Mikey. Come on, Mikey's family. We have to go before the zombies arrive. Oh, no, there's one right here. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, come on, Mikey. We have to go. You, you have to listen to me. Look at me, Mikey. Why are you just standing there? Louie, don't worry. I've got this. Mikey's family, we've got to go now. What? Pip, why did your voice just get suddenly so deep? Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Let's go, guys! Come on! And there we go, Pip. We finally got Mikey and Mikey's entire family inside of my rainbow car. And as well as that, we have JJ's family safe and sound. There's no zombies getting in here. What do we do now, Louie? Well, we could do whatever we want. We could go and eat some cake in my cafeteria. We could go for a little dip in the pool. Are you dumb? We don't have time for this. Did you see all of the zombies under your base? Oh, but I was relaxing in the pool. Oh, fine. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to bring Mikey and JJ's family to safety. Just get up here with me. And this is the controls for the car. All we have to do now is just do a bit of this, steering the car, and pressing these buttons. And now all we have to do is step on the accelerator. Let's go. Okay, I think it worked. Did it? Where it are we? It seems like we're closer. It seems like we're closer to the forest over there. And wait, it worked, Pip. Look, <gasps> your car is all the way over there getting attacked by zombies. Whilst my car has moved down the track. Just follow me and let's see if we escaped all of those zombies. Look, all those zombies are over there. We totally escaped, Pip. We did it. Yes, the power of teamwork.